Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you all back to the Library of Runia, where today we're just going to take a look at what they've done to the ending, more so than anything, and take a look at what Roland's ego pages are, because I haven't seen them yet. I've just completed the distortion, the distorted, and it's the exact same. I, w I saw the, the new credit sequence, which appears after it, and to frankly, it's worse. Because it doesn't have any of the fun pictures on the side like the previous one did. So I'm a little disappointed by that. But let's just see what it's got to say here. By the by, I thought the li this library fell to bits for the most part. But it looks like its power is still there, right? There's got to be a horde of people watch it, watching for a, the chance to raid this place out there. But no one has broken in so far. I find that peculiar as well. That, Angelo, is because this library is the shell of your mind and consciousness. Or ego, as you call it. Ah, so that's one of the main uh, things they've done. They've made it so Angela doesn't realize that and they explain it to her. Okay. It's the consequence of making a decision that only a human could make. One that couldn't be further from what a resident of the city would choose. How long have you been uh, here? A visitor from the head, huh? The eye and the claw, too. Keep perfectly still, or you'll be torn apart. Remember, even you of all city folk can be ripped to shreds in your current state. Damn. You may have concluded your own little tales, but the distortion still continues to grave its mark on the city. That new colour has permeated the city much too profoundly. So the head is going to hold us accountable for the phenomenon, is that, is that it? No one could be held responsible for the distortion at this point. It breaks my heart to think that it might shift the ecology of the city we had cultivated with care. If so, what brings an agent of the head here, and why so late? We're here to expel you and your library from the city, and to retrieve a certain degraded colleague of ours. You mean... This structure in its entirety will be driven out and relocated to the outskirts. The library has already become an impurity of the city. We couldn't stand by any longer. Are you disturbed by its powers? Not quite. The sole reason is you, Angela. An entity that isn't human entertained thoughts that only a human should have. You poor machine. No matter how much you contemplate and enrich your mind, you cannot become human if you aren't born as one. When I thought you might turn into a human at the end, you let go, you let go of all you had during that cru critical moment. Had you fully become a human at the, col the, commun the accumulation of the ordeal, the city would have been more willing to accept you. Alas, I don't care if I have to stay as a machine. A machine with a heart has no place in this city. You cannot break free from the origin which defines you. Why does that matter? I'm the only one who has a, who has a say in defining my identity. I don't need any flimsy husk to do it for me. How contemplatable that your line of thought is so dangerously close to what a human must aspire to reach. You're further demonstrating why we can't let you be. For someone who like who loves to preach humanity, you sure seemed fine with letting distortions cause many a scene in your precious backyard, hmm? By all manner of means, distortions are one of the any, many aspects of humanity. Their existence is not wholly wrongful from our point of view. It is simply it was simply time for them to emerge. Are they not more bearable than a meager machine putting up the the charade of being human? So do yourself a favour and throw away that crumpled piece of paper. You've done uh, something so cute so nervously. What if, we ma what if we made you kick the bucket here? The expulsion will take place as planned. It's inevitable. This matter goes beyond you in the library. Elcorp itself was a stain and, and a blemish to the head. No wonder it is. To trounce over Elcorp's singularity in its end goal, you dispatched an Arbiter by the name of Binner. No, it was Garon, wasn't it? Regardless, it ended in utter failure, did it not? Garon did a sloppy job dealing with it. Now the chasm has grown too wide. Angelica, 
the machine with the mind of a human. The door mustn't be closed because of something like you. If I'm understanding this right, you wish to put me to death and kick the library out into the outskirts, is that correct? You've guessed right. I exist in this place as myself, standing on my, own, on, my, on my two feet with my own strength. I have no problem brushing off the bullcrap you're spewing on my doorstep. And you, are sh you sure are verbose company, just like Binner. You always add needless comments as if you can't help it. Executioner. I brought... I thought the library ceased pretty much all of its functions. As the Arbiter said, the library is my ego. In that case, I can perform such feats without breaking a sweat. Although this is only a temporary, temporary retreat, similar to how guests are greeted. We're finally receiving guests from the head, it, the head itself, huh? I guess the, these are the last ones we'll get to greet from here. It seems they are. I don't have a, I don't have to stay in this nest. I don't have to stay in this nest anyway. Good for us. Saves the trouble of packing the stuff. Pa of packing stuff up to move. Well, let's see how this ends up being. Oh, well, that's a nice way for you to start, you bloody utter prick. All right. Well. We can actually lose this now, so... Hmm. Let's just see what happens. I love how you start with that. Can I say that? I love how much of a bastard you are that you start with that. Exhausted already? We have yet to expel any real effort. Executioner? I'll finish them. Halt! You have shown up at last. Have we met before? So that's why Angela asked me to hang out in it. Hang in there. It was to wake you up, huh? What? You ain't pleased to see me coming to save your ass? I'm not complaining, ma'am. Don't worry about it. Just pull yourself together and get up. It's too early to flop down, you know. All right. Thanks for coming. I definitely wasn't going to make it th make it through this alone. It's a relief to have you. Can't guarantee I'll power through this either. Well, we'll have to try and stop them for as long as we can. Know that joining forces will not change the inevitable outcome of this. Nevertheless, your efforts are certainly a joy to witness. Truly and indeed, while I would not mind to spectate the situation from a distance, we must see to it that this place is dealt with thoroughly, so it would be wise for me to participate. And this just got more troublesome. I heard that you got the that you've been given the uh, the uh, Gabara's prowess when a co when using a combat page all dice. Yeah, yeah. Project Moon knew she everyone just equipped her with that. So yeah. Dice on this page are unaffected. Dice on this page and the dice affecting with it are unaffected by power gain or loss. Okay. Right. So. What are my options? I have a wheels industry. Which, frankly, I can use to counter that. Oh, wait. No, I. Mmm. Yeah, honestly, we're not- we're just trying to survive right now, that's all that matters. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Roland can actually survive this. What's that attack right there? Okay! This is going a lot quicker than the la the previously. Isolated without a way- Without a way out, your state is nothing short of pitiful. You still managed to hold out for a great deal, greater deal of time than we anticipated. It is a shame it must end this way. Now. Well, you do not look happy. It is indeed tr true that the verbosity leaves you vulnerable. Garon. That is a name I have not heard in a long while. 
although I suppose that name is not for me anymore. Despite having received news of you, I didn't expect you to come out and greet us this late. What took you so long? I was simply watching you from afar for a, for a moment. Really now? Until we got all battered up? Look after yourselves before you blame me. This strife will have to resume soon enough. Not only did you fail to res re responsibly perform your duty, you have fallen asleep here and turned your back on us. How impudent of you. However, I suppose we can call you to account later. We will tear down your grave and extract you before long. I can only pity you in your vain endeavour to seek an entity whose husk is all that remains. Executioner, be prepared. Which will take any place take place any minute there. Well, well, that's not affected. On hit, seal or die. What are you doing, Serum R? May your serum go to Christing Hell. All right, guys, go. Yeah, that's right, Finna. Prove yourself the superior one. This Arbiter is nothing versus us. If they were fighting us at full strength, they'd be ever loving screwed. Same with this so called claw. Oh, how bloody sucky you are. You couldn't even hit Roland, and he's the weakest of the three. Serum K, recover hex 50 HP at the start of the next scene. I love how it's not even using my deck, because I do not have two focus spirits in my deck for Gabara. Alright. Roland, with this, you'll be able to Furioso next turn. You know, assuming you have enough uh, light, which I don't think you will. Go! What are you doing? Serum W. And we got poor old Roland who's got no light. Well, that can't even be avoided, but it's also being used on Binner who's resistant to such damage, so we don't care. Alright, guys. Go. Unfortunate. Expected. Bonus strength. Locked. Hit back. Who gives a damn? You've now got one less chain on you. Look at Finna's smile as this person hits us. She's just like, I don't even care. I don't even care, Bert. Wow, really, Gabara? Try Serum Cocktail. Alright, well that's an, that's an ability and a half. Um, the only one who could probably defeat that is Gabara. Is now the time to Furioso? I'm not convinced it is. Especially with this guy's, this guy's, these dice are not destroyed gut gimmick. So... Let's just work on doing as much damage as possible. Because you never know. It might be possible to kill one of them. Doubtful. Exceptionally so. But potentially. Especially if we make him bleed enough. Ah, you're doing the mega attack now, are you? Well... Roland, try and counter the Serum R. I'm not sure if there is actually an anything... 
you can do versus that big attack, Gabara. So, well, let's just see if Roland manages to actually goddamn survive. I mean, what's your maximum? 33. What's your minimum? 22. There's a good chance you could beat that, but no, uh, no guarantee, unfortunately. So, go. Oh, god damn it, Roland. You know, I do still love how it actually... What am I calling? Just affects the entire... The entire map. That attack. There we go. He can't... That attack is now dead and gone. I also admit I am very interested as to whether we can actually kill this guy or something. Because he is getting... He is really getting there. You know? Go! tell me it's not over. God damn it! If I had focused Baral, Baral a little bit more, I might have actually been able to kill the fucker! What the? What's with this tremor? Looks like they're just gonna go... Looks like they're gonna go and uh, press ahead with the plan. It is truly amazing that you managed to withstand for such a long time. Especially when you seem so fragile you might perish from a hair more force. Garon, as much as it is a shame that we failed to retrieve your once crumbled body, the end is nigh. This place will be expelled as planned. Prepare to be sent to the outskirts, a truly great distance from the city. Forget not fear, you are simply being relocated to where you belong. I only ask that you do not return. The city cannot leave room for being such as you. For now, we shall mo kindly move you to the outskirts. But you should, but should you return to the city, we would consider it such that you have chosen to disregard our kindness. So mark my words well, and stay where you rightfully belong. I really want to try this again, just to see if I can kill that guy, you know? The expulsion of the nest will begin in 10, 9, 8... The outskirts see look much more barren than I imagined. I guess that's uh, that's how it is how it is here, you know. Now what do we, now what to do? I plan to live on, and I plan to change. Change what? Well, my vengeance hasn't ceased entirely. I'm still eager to see it through. I'll continue to write books and reopen the library at some point. It likely won't resume immediately, though. Really? Before anything else, I've decided to change course. From now on, from now on, I'll properly face who I should re direct my anger at. Tragedy and suffering, not unlike what we went through, would keep happening on a daily basis in the city. Thus, if that's the case, I want to know why such pain is perpetuated. I don't think I'll be able to... I'll be... I don't think I'll ever be able to part with my resentment and wrath otherwise. Yeah, oh yeah, like the whole treadmill, treadwheel thing you mentioned. A word of advice as a former city folk, it won't be an easy road to take. You have no idea where to even start. If you ask me, it's as natural as water flowing. In a city full of humans, tragedy, violence, and loss follow as a matter of course. I'm still going to give it a shot, even though the journey will be quite long. Perhaps this is one of the ways I can repent for what I've done. Of course, the library will be, will run in a different way from how it is from how it was up to now. That is this, and this is that. Hmm. That is this, and this is that, huh? Well, what about your list then? 
Since the circumstances have changed, I'll have to rethink my wishes. Sadly, I won't be able to sit, taste that sick meat stew with this body. That's a huge shame. Putting that aside, isn't it time you let me in on your secret now? What do you mean? The biggest surprise you've had here. Oh, that. You somehow remembered it. I can remember anything you know. Ugh. This one's really personal. We have all the time in the world. I can wait years for your answer. Alright, fine. Hmm. I actually wanted to write a book. About what I'd seen of the city and its people. Though I gave up, because I had no talent in writing whatsoever. My writing was just too crude. I couldn't show it to anyone. I'd love to give it a read. Laugh at me or laugh at me if you want. A grown man like me wanting to write books. I'd laugh at myself too. It's not laughable at all, though I do find it surprising. Recording the city and the lives of its people, huh? Don't tell the other librarians. This stays between you and me, alright? Keep it zipped. Alright, we shall write a book together this time. Shall we write a book together this time, Roland? It would be my honour, Mr. Rector. Wrong again. You should know by now that's not the right way to address me, don't you? I love how it's now changed to friend. Because it used to be lapdog and whatnot. Roland is now friend. Sounds good to me, Angela. Now the question is, can I actually kill the what am I calling? I get all my pages back, which is good to see. Even this thing, which I don't see a use for. Ah, we get to see these at long last. Awesome! So, what are these then? Guilt. Reduce incoming stagger ba damage by 1 to 3. That's pretty decent. When hit, the attacker takes stagger damage, e stagger damage equal to physical damage this character received. Ooh, that's... That's kind of interesting. So you can make a bit of a suicidal build. Interesting. Deal and take twice as much physical damage. Oh, yeah, you can make a real berserker build then, I'm noticing. Upon a successful pierce attack, inflict one nail to the target. If a character with nails is hit by a blunt attack, they take bonus damage equal to five times the amount of nails in them. Then, then all stacks of nails are removed. Okay, that's interesting. And it's not one of those things where you have to, like, stack it up continuously, because one times three is three, and then five times three is five, and... Three, wa three, five threes would still be the same. So it's just one of those really nice combo effects, honestly. Hammer and nail. Okay. I like that. What are the, what are these though? This is what we really care about. Wrist cutter, mass attack, on hit, purge strength, endurance, protection, and stagger protection from the target. That's a really nice ability, especially versus some people. Aspiration. Mass attack. On use, lose half of current HP. Give one strength to all allies next scene. Alright, that's an odd one. Only one strength for half your- for losing half your health. That seems a little... Hmm. Marionette. On use, all of the user's pages cost one more for the next scene. On hit, deal five damage. Okay, so that's why it only costs one. Fair. Frost Splinter. Individual, on hit, inflict one bind and feeble next scene, inflict one bind and feeble next scene. Yeah, that's a pretty damn powerful mass attack, actually. Those are some nice high numbers, actually. Whether it's worth six is another matter, though. On hit, three random enemies are inflicted with a random status ailment from paralysis, feeble, disarm, bind, and fragile, individually determined. Okay, that's more worth the six compared to that. Because the numbers are the same. Oh, wait, that's not a mass attack. Oh, I thought that was a mass attack. Okay, hmm. All right. Well. Well. I'm glad we got all of our cards back. That's the main thing. I admit, I kind of wish there was some, like, general, general, uh, what am I call it, invitations that release today, so I could have a go at them. 
Yeah. You know what? I like these abnormality pages. The ego pages... I'm, we're spoiled for choice on ego pages because of, like, some of the other ones. So while they're not the, the top tier, Wrist Cutter is probably up there in top tier, honestly, looking at it. Uh, Marionette actually is probably top tier as well because having pages cost one more for, the, for only a singular scene for a one cost that does 19 to 27 damage isn't actually that bad a trade-off. I've got mixed feelings about Aspiration, just because it's only one strength. Frost Splinter seems good just because it's actually some nice high numbers. And then Remorse also is really good high numbers too, and it debuffs more than just the target that you hit as well. But yeah, Leer is a really interesting one to me. The girl remained silent. She would simply glare at the core of one's inner side with her deep eyes. When she drives the nail with her hammer, the crack in the mind will grow too wide and shatter completely. However, when she met a person carrying guilt or fear, the girl revealed the, n the, the nail and hammer she had been hiding behind her back. Alright. Yeah, I've got mixed feelings about the ego pages, but the the abnormality pages seem good at least. Like, hammer and nail is just a really decent one. Just because if you make someone that is purely pierce... Like, how much piercing do you have? Minor, honestly. If you make a piercing specialist on this floor, hammer and nail works really well. Guilt is just good. Because guilt allows you to make a tank that does mega damage back as well. I mean, reduce incoming stagger damage by one to three. Cool. Uh, if we just give someone like one of the, these guys' pages, so they take one to two less damage from attacks, then you could give them, what I'ma call it, uh, grit on top of that. Then you give them some way to heal. Uh, possibly a revive via like Maxium or something with via via emergency resuscitation and whatnot guilt just becomes really good the question is though how common is guilt to show up that's the issue it always is the issue if it's if it's the first thing that props up in the red path it's brilliant and i will love it but if it's like the third one so you need, so that appears before it, then it's not so good. Because what you have to remember about the value of an abnormality card is how easily it shows up. And obviously I'm just wasting time at this point to make this sure this video isn't just a random 20 minute episode. Lear is just stupid, honestly. Lear is just stupid, because you could even combine that with guilt. Because, oh, I take double damage. Guess what that means? You do too! <laughs> and creatures always have less stagger damage than they do physical damage. So quite frankly, if you combine those two, it's quite off it's not unlikely that if you get hit, then the person who hit you instantly just gets staggered immediately. So if you've got someone like G Lee Jion right here. 54 sta stagger damage. All right, I get hit. He's he's staggered. He gets hit. He takes 40 odd da physical damage. That means because he it's doubled. That means he just deals 40 stagger damage straight back. I gotta wonder if that uh when hit the sta whether the stagger damage that you deal back is the same amount you hit for. So reductions from like scars, grit, etc. apply to the reduced damage or whether the damage reflected back is before all of the bonus things. That's stuff for experimenting. By the way, as I've said before, this series, not dead, not dead, it's the only thing keeping this channel alive. I'm planning to play mods. I've got, um, I've got the, I, the plans to like play Afterglow and whatnot. So, don't expect this series to die. Maybe just pause for a while until the full release. You know? 
Well, everyone, it looks like I'm a lot of time for today's episode. So, what can I say other than tell me in the comments down below if you want me to try and take on the head again, just to see if I can, you know, actually kill the claw this time, because I got so goddamn close. I feel it's possible now. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.